So trash track uh, looks at uh, at trash. It it poses a very simple question, uh, which is when you throw something in a bin, what happens to it? Where does it actually go? There's a general general uh, perception that as soon as you throw something away, it's out of your sight, out of your mind in a way. And you might uh, theoretically know that it will somehow end up at landfill or in a recycling plant, but really you don't know where that specific object is going to go. Now that is in very stark contrast to what happens in the assembly, in the production, in the distribution chain, right? Where all companies know exactly at any given time of production where every component is. And we know so little about the waste removal chain. As soon as we, we drop it in a bin, it's, it's gone and we don't know where it goes. So the idea of trash track and the curiosity of trash track is uh, take a, a bottom-up look at this issue. Uh, as opposed to understanding how a trash system works in grand outlines, uh, really look at individual objects that people throw away and specifically see where they actually do go to understand better how the actual system works, how to improve them as well, and also to create a level of, of awareness in citizens uh, to, to, to make them become aware of what actually happens to these objects they throw away and you know, what happens to an object that you throw into a trash bin in one place and what happens differently to the same object if you throw it to a recycling bin just next to it. Right? And we're seeing very different results of objects traveling, uh, coffee cups traveling 20 or more miles and, 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 and people in Seattle just being very surprised by that and very upset about it, thinking, you know, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I consume a, a cup of coffee in a couple of minutes and I drink it there just outside the bar where I purchase it. And then, you know, it doesn't make sense having trash travel for 20 miles because we know that consumes energy. We, we know that consumes resources. That, that, that becomes interesting also for looking at the actual product design of things and thinking how can products be designed and equipped so that they are already predisposed to be followed and to be traced after the end of their usability. Uh, it, it has to do with architecture if you look at cities and consider what moves in cities. Now what moves in cities is people and objects. Uh, and uh, looking at objects uh, and working on the traffic project, it's become so evident how there is this dramatic moment at which uh, most of our objects that we use for different purposes at some point cease to be these objects and become trash. It is really these objects moving through the city, I think, which provides an interesting connection between trash and the city. Um, not considering trash as static objects, which, you know, as, as a perception, um, most of the times is linked to trash bins, uh, trash dumpsters, um, um, trash facilities, yeah, which are static in a place, but really looking at the streams of objects which are traveling all day long through cities. Uh, the other aspect I'm, I'm, I'm particularly interested in is to see and understand to what an extent uh, this experiment and this project we are doing by tagging objects, which as such is um, has something absurd to it, right? I mean, the moment we throw an object away, we are actually attaching this technology to it that makes you trace the object. That's a very cumbersome way of doing it. And it's really, we're doing it because we're going beyond what today's technology implementation has been doing. So we'd, we'd rather prefer if the objects contain this technology from the point of their production, as to say that in assembly, in production, they're already equipped with the technology that then allows these objects to be uh, disposed of in a way that allows for, you know, at best 100% recycling or reuse of components and objects. Uh, and that is, not, that is not a vision that is too far away if you consider that increasing a uh, number of objects like ebook readers, think of Amazon's Kindle, cell phones, right? The companies actually keep track while you're using the product. So they maintain these collections. They know where the objects are traveling around. It is really uh, an extension to this sort of dynamic that we're looking at, just considering to go also go beyond the actual point of, of, of disposal of the object. I think this, this, product, uh, this project, Trash Track Project, uh, in, in, in short term, what, uh, what is also one of our objectives is to uh, focus on creating awareness uh, amongst users.
on a, on a mid-term, longer-term basis, uh, what will become very interesting is to understand how this research uh, might lead to uh, creating um, instruments for product design processes. So as to consider in the design process already uh, the paths that you know, you know through such a project your product will take eventually. Personally, I think that uh, by now in our material culture we have created such a complex interaction between our products and the environment. Uh, I think we, we cannot afford not keeping track of our objects.